I'm hearing you, me, and he. What we gonna do, baby? I don't wanna let you go. <laughs> so, the angel number book. You self love, you, me. And he, angel number 618, my bad, y'all, the camera turned around. What we gonna do, baby? Self-love, take care of you. You often put others first. <laughs> you often put others first, but may also tend to dismiss your own needs. Your angels ask you to practice self-love today. Have you been doing that? Because what time is it? 129 on the clock, but it's 520. Oh, my time, okay? Your angels ask you to practice self-love today. Allow yourself space and time to do something that makes you feel nurtured and appreciated. Watch a movie, make a special meal, or treat yourself to a little special something you can want. What you can want, boo. What you been wanting, huh? A new scene? And that's what I'm seeing after angel number 618, 619 say new scenery. Transition is natural for you. Don't make change so hard is what I'm hearing. Yeah, don't make change so hard. Because guess what? You connected. You, you, you connected to most high you connected to your angels you connected to some divine energy we connected to fucked off energy too yin and yang but what energy you gonna lean towards you know say for instance yesterday y'all no not yesterday saturday i left my phones in the uber in the uber i felt like forest running in the street like hey Dude, dude, hold up, hold up. Luckily, he brought him back. You know, I'm going to pay it forward, too. I am going to pay it forward. Oh, ladies, some of us might be a little superstitious. You know what I'm talking about? Some of us might be a little superstitious. G said, don't put your purse on the floor, huh? That's some of your ancestors. But look. Somebody might be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius, but this is the patteration that this just splattered right on out. And this is dated 3 11 2024. Mm -hmm. It is. That date can be significant to you, it can mean something. What day was that, y'all? Huh? That was a week ago. That was a week ago. Let's see. I said grab you. That was a week ago. I get so weak in the knees. Whatever song it is with weekend. Days of the week and weak energy. Weak energy. Today is March 18th. Today is March 18th. This is a weedling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There could be some weave um sheddings somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like could have lost one of their tracks about their head is what I heard. But they are having me focus on moonology. Somebody had a new romantic cycle last week. Yep. Yep, somebody had a new romantic cycle. They met somebody who was kind of like the apple of their eye. New moon in Libra and fixed moon. They hold their vision. They are very much so attracted. 
Light attracts light. Light attracts light. And darkness begets darkness is what I just heard. Hmm. All my cards are usually upright. And that is what I'm going to do. So, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Somebody's commitment has been tested. But look, somebody's commitment has been tested. First quarter of the moon. Somebody's commitment has been tested. For real, look. And they, they could be a fixed sign. You hear me? And I'm hearing this. This is a big ass secret. They emotional about it too. Some went down last week. Three eleven. Three eleven. Hmm. A big change too. Hold up, because I didn't just put all of them up right. They stepped up out of their comfort zone, so they feel like they're traveling into their north node. We're going to see what's good, though. Because, no, somebody could be a moon sign, too. Somebody could be a Pisces. If you know her. Somebody could be a Cancer. The energy is gaining momentum. Wax and moon. Look. They sneaking in their phone. They going to the bathroom, taking longer than bile shits on the toilet. Rolling blunts and freaking miles and whatever the hell else they do. You know what I'm saying? They normally take a long time in the bathroom. Somebody's vials. They got bubble guts. So, well, look at that, love. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us more. Look, once in the blue moon, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, right? And once in the blue moon, for someone in particular, it ain't really once in the blue moon. They just keep it hidden. But this is the opportunity of a lifetime for somebody to crack this code. Let's see. Let's see what's good. What are the messages that we need to know about this situation here? Hmm. Hmm. Your commitment is being tested. Nothing is yet set in stone. First quarter moon, mutable moon. Somebody fly by night and they want to be in a leader position, but they really much of a follower. That's what Jesus is saying. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. Mm. A win win outcome is in a forecast full moon and Libra. Nothing will come of this situation void, void, excuse me, of course, moon. Void, of course, is what they supposed to do because they off course. They already hip to their relationship being at stake, their marriage being at stake, you know. And this can also be a couple, you know, somebody who is going wayward, you know what I'm saying, going road, rolling up shit creek without nam paddle for real because they out of options when it comes to concealing some shit. Yeah, they out of options when it comes to concealment, is what I just heard. So, let me see. Your commitment is being tested. This, I'm feeling like it's, it's like the opportunity of the lifetime for somebody. They feeling like whoever this person is. Whoever this person is, that they didn't just really crip it for real. Yeah. Yes, but not yet. Yes, but not yet. So.
whoever this person is, though, you know, it's supposed to be like a, a business, a business deal. Like they just, they supposed to be doing business is what I'm hearing. They supposed to be doing business. I haven't gotten, you know, I'm going to study this book because I don't like pulling off these cards when they tell me to. And then I got to go through the book, but that's okay, y'all. We're going to read it together. We're going to learn together. Because y'all know I make my own cards, right? And they resonate, right? So whatever resonate in this reading, I want you to hold it because it is a goal. It is a goal, but somebody is being led astray. They are heading towards their goal, but they, it's like they hopscotching and shit, and they rolling the motherfucking rock and shit. Pebbles. Pebbles. Well, you know what? They supposed to be making somebody kick rocks with open toe shoes on. With open toe shoes on, because this person is not worth you or them fucking up everything that they have worked so hard towards and they attuned to some moon cycles too but when I see that they've been hard headed in the past they gotta admit to it because this is a repeat this is a repeat this is somebody they done bent the corner back the end of a tough a tough Psycho approaches. This is a touchy situation, too. You hear me? It's a touchy situation. It's a fragile situation. Let go of what is falling away. It actually says let go of that which is falling away. Some Somebody's man or lady done got a makeover, right? And they have been practicing self-love. They've been... In, getting encouragement from other people, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's a lot that's changing, is what I'm saying. A lot that's changing. And somebody got a widow's peak, but it's what's peaking right now. It's what's peaking right now. Mm -hmm. It's what's peaking up right now. Somebody vain is here. Somebody is very vain. A win-win outcome is in the forecast, full moon and Libra, but it's not impossible. It's not. It's, 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 it's not impossible. And somebody is being led. They got somebody drive too fast. Somebody got a ticket. That's going to be confirmed and affirmed is what I'm, is what I'm saying. That's going to be confirmed and affirmed because somebody even, I don't know, what is plenty much? Candy or plenty or some shit like that. Something like that. Somebody got a bag of candy. Somebody can have a bag of leftover um leftover Halloween candy or they just bought some um, Easter candy or something. But it's it's these distractions is what I'm seeing. These distractions and they're it's like you know all of a sudden somebody just got to be on the go. All of a sudden, somebody just got to be on the go when they normally a homebody. Let me see what's up with this boy, of course, moon. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be a lose-lose outcome. Why they thinking they're about to be with it? That says a win-win outcome in the forecast. It's about to be a lose-lose outcome because somebody is trying to let the moon be their guide. But prosperity lies ahead. New moon and tours. It is all about the money. But somebody feels as though, you know, they have revenue is what I'm hearing. They have revenue and they have the means to make sure that, you know, everybody's lifestyle is harmonious, you know. Um, somebody's happy about being able to extend the olive branch, but it's like you know they they use some some trickery when it comes to um pay wages. They use some trickery too, because you know they they kind of like filed in a motherfucker because they trying to have their friend, their their camp folk or their coworker, whoever the hell 
Step out. All for the means of money. Step out and cheat. What's up? All for the means of money. What's taking place now, if I can get to this, but what's taking place now is what I'm saying is, is this darkness. This darkness with this void of course moon. They all we do is win, 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 but where's the wins? Ain't nobody getting paid like they thought. With this new moon in Taurus, it's like it's still self love, it's still self care, and it's still like somebody wanna pamper their sales or they wanna you know, build a savings account and they feel like it's somebody outside of their connection because they have a special connection. It's somebody outside of their connection who is sexier, who, you know what I'm saying, male or female. They're sexier, um, they're a little bit more milder to the touch is what I'm hearing. Um, it is, you know, they're different and they're attracted to this person's style. They're attracted to this person's demeanor, um, this person's status as well. This person's status and shit. It was all good just a week ago. It was all good just a week ago, but not really. But not really. And somebody I'm feeling like today, they are trying to balance out some energy within themselves, you know. So they're trying to take some time to themselves too. They're trying to take some time to themselves. But they really trying to hear from their guides, their spiritual guides, is what I'm hearing. 17.03 on the clock. What's today's date? <laughs> she is Gemini South Node, Sagittarius North Node. Don't be scared to travel away from your community hood. Rad embrace what's outside of your normal everyday life. Doing so, you'll ascend. Dark, low vibe man out to teach you a lesson, your current connection. Somebody been sniffing around too, all up in your business, asking you questions, and it can be for this person too. Trying to figure out what it is that you know, what it is that you hip to, because, you know, your commitment is being tested. So they sending in their Calvary, their trauma unit to trauma bind with you. You know, try to get some information up out of you. They're trying to be slick about it, too. This is somebody, I care, Tony, Tony, Tony. These motherfuckers normally ain't all, you know, trying to extinguish any fires when it's like blow torches around and shit. You know what I'm saying? These people ain't never around, you know, when the going gets tough. They, they want to be a pillar of strength, but when the going gets tough, the tough get going. But here they coming strong, right? And they could be talking a little strong, too. They could be talking a little strong. Stay tuned in. Spirit has given you information and a pattern to recognize. Gemini South Node, Sagittarius North Node. Somebody could, you know, feel like they're a recluse is what I'm hearing. Somebody could be, you know, always in the house and they really want to get out is what I'm hearing. They feel like, you know, they're not able to break free. Embrace what's outside of your normal everyday life. They can't do this, you know, and this is, I'm hearing, you know, t today marks a day. Today marks a day. Today marks a day of uh, reparation, of freedom, of, I'm hearing something about constituents. And if it's not, you know, from a political standpoint is, you know, somebody trying to politic with you again. It's this communication and it's like donkeys and elephants and they want you to feel like you the jackass. <laughs> they want you to feel like you the jackass. 1927 on the clock. Intuition. Be very discerning. Use your spiritual eye. I mean, you know, look with them too. Or if you wear glasses, those four. But you got to stay toned. Tone, who was Tone? Damn, now these are some real folks that Jesus is saying, your real friends, high vibrational, true blues, authentic. They have your best interest at heart. Real friends, they could be trying to get you hip to some shit because that's your enough. That intuition fell out, so I'm gonna keep it there. 
intuition be very disturbed. And this is the same message right here. Staying tuned in so you can recognize, analyze, and realize the information that's been coming to you because it's been a pattern. It might not make sense to you, you know what I'm saying, realistically. You're going to have to put some some spiritual game on it. You hear me? Some spiritual game. Because I'm like trying to run game. They've been running game for oh, damn. Ooh, they've been running game for a minute. Once, twice, three times a damn cheater is what the Jesus said. It's a tower coming. But you know, these towers don't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It's just to shift your, your energy, shift your perspective, put you in a different energy and on a different path. Regardless of how long you've been on this path, the Jesus said it's time for you to hop up off of it. They said it's time for you to hop up off of it. Somebody don't want, somebody want to lead, and they should have never had the baton because this is not a rat race. This is not a rat race. This ain't even a race. It's a marathon, and they they either want to be ahead. Yeah, they want to be ahead. They want to be the head of everything. They want to be the head, not the tail, man. And I can feel that in this totality. But it's like, on some on some raw dog reality, they need to have several seats, male or female, because whoever it is that they cheating on, that's who make the shit go round. And they trying to keep them on a merry-go-round around this bitch. What the fuck? Nothing will come of this situation. Boy, the course, moon, prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. The bull, somebody grabbing the bull by his horns and about to ride this motherfucker, about to ride it. But it's going to be a nice ride. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a nice ride. I mean, man, it's going to be a nice ride. Nice ride. May not want to get off is what I'm hearing because this is the spiritual journey I'm talking about. This new moon in Taurus, because for many moons, somebody done been kept in the motherfucking dark. <laughs> for many moons, somebody done been kept in the dark. And then there's something when it comes to Capricorn season, that keep popping out like a mother sucker. The end of 2023, beginning of 2024. I know I've been changed. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. So, these are my confessions. Who's this? I don't know if it's a man or a woman who talking too much. Like, they know somebody's mate, their significant other better than they do. They talk too much. And they need to be put on time out. They have too much inside scoop because if it's not the one who cheating then it's the one who's supposed to be i just heard riri who's supposed to be in the dark but they not in the dark they just sitting there and taking it like this is the life that they supposed to have i don't know what's the fuck going on i heard something about the police too and then i heard the end It's been a lot of shit questionable, but that was in the reverse. Somebody's intuition is, is kicking in in overdrive. Last Thursday. What happened last Thursday? What was last Thursday, though? What day was that? I'm going to mess up. Last Thursday. Somebody. Mmm. Last Thursday, somebody could have stopped somebody from fighting. They stopped, um, it was a heated argument, and they could have been about to, you know, throw some blows, right? You did it. Couldn't have occurred without your help. Because somebody was instigating. They wanted to see somebody fight. They wanted to see somebody swing first. Hmm cooking, preparing a meal. So who was this? I know somebody wasn't trying to encourage a man and encourage a man and a woman to fight. 
preparing a meal, cooking, mixing ingredients, but that was kind of like pushed to the side, put on the back burner, probably literally, you know what I'm saying? 11-11 in the reverse. Somebody was not following their intuition. Discernment kicked in, but it was like fight or flight. It came with some adrenaline. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It came with a rush, a big rush. You could have tried to rush them. Somebody tried to rush somebody. High pitch ringing in the ears. You received an information from your spiritual team. So look, when I went back to the book and I, I turned the page, I went to clear your uh, clairvoyance. I did. I went to clairvoyance. And I don't know where it was. Somebody sagged their pants a lot. They can wear oversized pants. They can wear them tight testicular cancer pants, jeans, jogging pants. They looking like they painted on these men. I'm stirring it. <laughs> I can't wait for that fashion tip to go away and finally diss the fuck up here. Because, ugh. No, I don't want to see them all, you know, extra baggy neither, but why I got to see your heartbeat through your testicles? Then it's appointment. Somebody got cavities. Big hole in their teeth. You're receiving information from your spiritual team. Your frequency level vibration has ascended. You know, but every time there's an ascension process, somebody is doing the most to make sure that you are spiritually guided, that you don't, like somebody could have needed a jump, is what I'm hearing, that you don't jumpstart this spiritual journey too, but your G's want you to know that you have heard them. You possess clear audience, and that is the ability to connect with your heavenly team. You hearing what it is that they saying, but you ain't paying attention. Light skin, caramel, sexy something, most definitely some eye candy. They just waiting. They're about to pull a kick though around this motherfucker. You hear me? I keep telling y'all from why you about to I don't know where it is you kick it at, where it is you live. It could be in your on your street, in your neighborhood, it could be a place that you frequent. The boys running up in there. Mm-hmm. Money affirmations. That's this prosperity lies ahead. I am focused in achieving money happiness. They not focused, but they achieving money happiness. I have a positive attitude about money. No, they don't. Prosperous thoughts? No, they're all low vibrational. I am rich with wealth, health, love, joy, and happiness. No, abundant in all areas. No, that is what they're seeking though, and they're going about it all wrong. They're going about it all wrong, and then they getting pissed at the person closest to them. Look, they're not cheating on you. They're cheating with you. It's all discombobulated. Scorpio energy, that's that 11-11, I swear it is. Karmic feminine. And somebody going to the motherfucking hospital was what the G's just said. That's what I'm saying. New moon. Mm. Promises weren't kept, right? Nope. I'm your friend. I'm your bestie. You my favorite cousin. Whatever it was you vented to them about, promises kept, they will keep your confidentiality. And, you know, your, they vent, your venting to themselves, they trustworthy? No. Bet that up? No. And look. They're not cheating on you. They're cheating with you. Somebody is a cheating ass. And they are self-sabotaging right now. No options. Don't sabotage this. Just you. They're faithful. So sad as thou. No. Somebody just want to be a thought to the 15th power for as long as they live. And I mean, you know, that this might just be they, they lesson and why they're here in this classroom called Earth. This lifetime, you know, they might not, they might not wake up for a long time, and that is, and I'm hearing you've been trying to resuscitate a relationship, you've been trying to stay tight with this person, close with them, and you just need to let them go, because they are a part of all this shit right here. They are part of all this shit right here. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody going to the dentist and somebody going to the hospital. I mean, if somebody got breathing problems, somebody could have um some sort of twenty four hour bug. I'm also hearing that some past, you know, um health issues that are uh, somebody could be relapsed in from a surgery. Um, but past health issues, wear and tear. Yep, wear and tear. These are not all upright. But somebody has just now stopped, you know, and it's only because, you know, they, they didn't fell out with some people. They didn't fell out with some people. The reason why they over there, that's the only time that they over there is what I'm hearing is when they fall out with people. They're a user and abuser too and you can't really talk to them. They, they could be eating with you right now, discombobulated about something personally affecting their life or something always personally affecting their life. This person swear their third eye is activated and it's not. So, I don't know who this karmic feminine is. Nice looking. This is your karmic. Could be a karmic masculine as well. Because somebody light skin and sexy than the mud. They like, like to be sexy. Scorpio energy. Somebody is giving thanks. But somebody also is not in the season of giving. They're not in the season, the season of paying up. Yeah, they're not. Listen, they, they're not about to give up any money of wages that was owed. Mm-mm. They're not. They're not about to get that up. <laughs> Somebody pay for play. Damn. Too many spirits. Somebody pay for play. They do. And it's a woman who keeping it on a hush. You know, she already know. A woman or a man keeping it on a hush. They already know that they partner cheating. Look. Oh, my goodness. And it's like somebody is walking real slow right now. They walking real slow with their head hung down. They could be depressed. They could have some issues with they um with they uh with their legs, their limbs, they knee. Mm-hmm. Danger ahead. Somebody going on a trip. Come here, you don't need to go. You don't need to go. Do you know? Who going? Well, who going? Who's supposed to be arriving or driving in another car? I heard with the in-laws. So, <clears throat> well, yeah, somebody from your that that person's past. I'm gonna say that person. Look, from that person's past, they rekindle some shit. And yeah, it's because of them. Look, when ain't been following in your intuition, your God given built in GPS system. When it, when you feel off and you feel like the energy is off, somebody's lying, they're lying. When you feel used and abused, you are used and abused, is what the Jesus said. When you feel like your abundance is being stripped away, this is true. This is true. And the, and, and and somebody is is striving hard to make sure that you know they got some money in the bank. Show them what you think, but it's how they going about it. Cause these warrants, that ain't no that that's a fair deal. That's what the Jesus is saying. That's a fair deal, and it's gonna be because of these warrants that somebody is about to move too. So I don't know who this person is who done popped up on the scene. They could be lanky, long arms and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this person is connected to this person. You see? Do you see? This person is connected to this person. I need lotion on. <laughs> they connected to that person. And the way it's two people. It's two people connected to this person. But it's one who is who is really about to, the, whoever this woman is who is depressed, and I feel like she could be the one who cheated on, you know what I'm saying? Whoever connected 
to her person to feel free to reverse the roles. They are in some foul energy. Move. Goodness, get off my stuff. They going to move. Sit. They going through some stuff. Would you move? They opted not to call the police. Shut up. Be quiet. Sit. I guess get off my stuff. That's the end of the read. I'll be back. <laughs> Would you move? 